The war on drug abuse seems to be far from over. Today, religious leaders have lamented over the growing problem of alcohol and drug abuse. Good afternoon. Speaking today when they met leaders from Nakada, they decried emerging reports of drugs easily available in chemists and health facilities. The country is confronted with a serious and growing problem of alcohol and drug abuse with overwhelming effects on the socio-economic development of the people. However, according to Nakada, the issue on regulation of health facilities is under another body and not Nakada. Chemists are controlled by a different board and indeed some of these drugs are, no, are, are normally abused but uh, medically they are normally used to cure various ailments. As Nakada and through the multi-agency approach we are trying to ensure that we don't have rogue chemists who sell these drugs without prescription. Religious leaders recently highlighted areas they termed as hotspots for drug sale and abuse. The young men that are peddling drugs in South Sea, all a petrol, petrol station in Bellevue, they are found in Mugoya shopping center, they are found here on the total petrol station in South Sea. They are found near Al Jazeera apartments, near Akiba shopping center, on the pedestrian foot track in the route starting from container Masjid Salah, inside Mugoya, CID, Al Jazeera apartment, Akiba, down to Masjid al -Nur. The young men that are there peddling drugs. We are looking at these people as people who need help. As uh, religious people, of course, our mission is to uh, mission and also minister as well as assist anyone who needs help. This comes as Second Lady Dokas Frigadi launches a two-day free medical camp in Nairobi targeting matatu drivers and conductors in the city. The camp aims at seeking to de-addict those affected by drugs and substance abuse. Majibu Kitsao for K24 TV, Nairobi.